Hey, I'm gonna drink some tea. We're gonna talk about a couple of things today. This is a word. This is a word. This is a word. So, y'all, welcome back to the vlog. And today I'm having some tea, and I'm sitting here. Actually, you guys, uh, you may have noticed that I'm drinking it out of this cup, and some of you may have immediately recognized this symbol, and others of you are like, what is that? I don't get the significance. But those of you who, um, are familiar with a play written by Tony Kushner called Angels in America might recognize this as the logo from the you know the Broadway the original production the Broadway production um, not the original production the Broadway production the original production I believe was at Eureka Theater in San Francisco and I believe it was directed by Oscar Eustace. Way, I had to go way, way back to get that information anyway, but um, it's a play by Tony Kushner, and I mentioned Tony Kushner is one of the people that um, you know I have had the pleasure of meeting in my life, and I don't know if you guys can see, but on the cup, there's a list of the people in the cast, and if you look really carefully, you can see that well, I don't know if you can see it, um, but you can see that my name's on that cup too. So anyway, all of those things said, moving on. So you guys may be aware that Isla Mazard has made a video about me where he's basically talking about us combining our channels, which is kind of a cute thing. I don't know, maybe he loves me. I guess I'm wearing my red shirt today in honor of him. Uh, no, I'm wearing my red shirt because it's the one that's clean, y'all. I have to go do laundry. So. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about that. Not much. He's very good, isn't he? He's very good at kind of having a conversation by himself, which is fine. Um, you know, I don't know if he's an only child or not, but I guess maybe if you're, you know, lonely as a child, you figure out how to do, you know, play by yourself, or lonely as an adult, you figure out how to play by yourself. But based on a lot of the feedback that I got from you, um, I probably am going to keep some distance, at least for now, because a lot of you have really, um, you know, you've made it clear that that's probably something that I don't want to do. It's probably not something that's going to be good for me, especially coming off of about a month of, you know, a lot of negativity following the, you know, Vegan Gains videos, but be that as it may. Um, I thought it was interesting and I felt like I should, you know, just address a few things. Nothing in particular, but I feel like he maybe miscategorized our exchange. You know, he asked me to watch a video. I did watch that video and I said some pretty positive things about that video and even suggested that, you know, he might take some of the steps towards achieving the goal that he encourages us having as vegans, and that is having community centers in you know, major cities. And so I felt like I responded to that. He had made a video about Black Lives Matter, which you guys know, you know I, I didn't want to get too deep in it, but I did tell him that you know, I, I did not give him a very high grade, that I was giving him a low grade for that video. That's all, my opinion. And he insisted that his points were valid, I certainly, there are things, there are opinions to be had about whether, you know, the non-violence non clause is, is something that, you know, can be really considered valid. And I'll talk about that in a minute, but I just want to close this out. So, um, he, t he talked about the principles of Black Lives Matter and he described, um, you know, he described restorative justice as something unclear and um, when I explained what restorative justice was to him, he told me that he understood it very well. And so when I was saying that he was being intellectually dishonest, I was referring to his pretending not to understand what restorative justice was, as opposed to simply explaining restorative justice to his viewers so that they would understand that that was one of the things that Black Lives Matter stood for. Instead, he shared these video clips, which we've talked about enough, and I don't want to talk about them anymore. But that was what I meant when I said he was being intellectually dishonest, not that he was or was not concerned with whether or not Black Lives Matter had an anti-violence statement. I think, I, I, I trust that he does take that very seriously. Now, on the other hand, Although he may consider that very seriously, I think it's a matter of opinion and not fact that they need to have a non-violence clause in their mission statement or in their statement of purpose. 
in order for them to be a viable organization. The United States, as I've said, does not have a nonviolence clause in their constitution. And so that said, I want to talk a little bit about nonviolence. And this might be the last word that I have for, on nonviolence. As a vegan and as a member of a community of vegans, specifically here on YouTube, I have heard many who have the analysis that if one consumes animal pro products, that individual is responsible for the violence that was done in order to make that product available to them. Even though the person who consumes a hamburger doesn't necessarily take the life of the particular cow or the particular bull or whatever animal was slaughtered to make that hamburger, but the person is in some way responsible for that act of violence. And so for someone to have a position of nonviolence and still consume animal products, it's a bit hypocritical. Problematic to say the least. However, we also have to consider that we live in, those of us who live in Western societies, peaceful societies, have the privilege to take nonviolence positions. That's a privilege. And that's a privilege that's afforded us because of violent acts that are done on our behalf. So as a person living in the United States, a person of privilege, of means, living in the United States, I have to take some of the responsibility for the acts of violence that are being done every day, the bombs that are being dropped in Mosul every day, the recent acts of violence in Afghanistan, taking lives, the recent acts of violence in Syria, taking lives, the acts of aggression against North Korea, risking lives, and even risking lives of other U.S. citizens in South Korea. So I have the privilege of taking a nonviolent stance for myself. How lucky of me to be able to do that. So for me to try to impose that on others is in some ways hypocritical. In some ways it's, it's hypocritical. And I hope that that's clear to everyone, but I'd like to know your thoughts. Obviously, I'd like to know your thoughts and I don't want you to feel like the discussion has come to an end, but I do feel like in the context of a society that accepts violence as a means to an end, it seems rather foolish for us to be haggling over who gets to yield the weapon. But that's not gonna be the focus of the day. So something came up also in the last video about Isol, I told you all, something that he had said in his email to me about what I was used to on YouTube and, you know, talking about talking to people who were either, you know, not very smart or who were, you know, adore, fawning fans or what have you. But um, I, I, someone pointed out that it was an insult. It was an insult to the folks that are you all, all of you who, who um, contribute to the comment section on this channel who are amazing people. And then lots of people started chiming in and saying, you know, I love reading the comments on this channel. And yes, yes, that is, probably what makes this channel popular at all. <laughs> the fact that people can come here and engage in discussion. And I, and I do think that that is something that's lacking in our society, a place to have meaningful conversations about things that matter to us deeply. Because most people don't want to hear it. <laughs> Honestly, most people don't want to hear it. And so I'm really thrilled and grateful to all of you. And so I wanted to shout some of you out today. I'm going to shout some of you out. So this is not at all an exhaustive list. This is just people who have been commenting, you know, just in the past, you know, couple of weeks, commenting a lot and really keeping the conversations going. So I'm shouting out. Um, 
Amira Watley, Andrea Aldrich, Author Rat, Boxes, Defamed Vegan, uh, Dylan ASMR, congratulations on your first two videos that are actually doing really well, Edward Norton, H.S. Ross, uh, Isabel O, Il Pirata, Jackson Trimble, Jeans 1972, 1997, uh, Lego DC, Loco Motif, Lord Lazy, Marion Vegan, Marion Poliquin, Poliquin, I think that is, uh, forgive me for butchering anybody's name, Nicholas SC7K, Nubia Morton, Raccoon of the Dark, Rebecca White, Roger McRabbit, Sarah French, thank you so much for the advice on the lemon squeezer. I've been doing it. It's been working out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Sarah French explained to me that I should put the lemons in with the skin side out, the peel side out. So it, and it works like a dream. Thank you so much for that little bit of advice. Sean Spence, um, Step Tart, uh, uh, Teo Solar, thanks for the hearts. All of you, thanks for so many of the hearts. Tim Gersh, I'm glad you like the beard. Tim, um, Tom Hall, who's kind of a regular, and that's I'm going to talk about you guys a little bit later. So vlog like no one's watching. Congratulations to you on your first vlog video. And Witches Brew, um, thank you all so much for um, most of you are newer folks who have come just in the past couple of months or folks who've started commenting regularly in the past couple of months. And you've been very, very active in the comment section over the past couple of weeks again. So I want to shout you all out, but also to all the regulars, you know, um, um, uh, um, a Privileged Vegan, Ashley of Electric Mayhem, Bruce, love you dearly, Captain Andy, all of you, Crazy Old Vegan, Gary, G is for Gary, Heather Rose, Heavy Hero, Jesse, Fruworth, uh, Kaori, um, Kearney, Loving Atlanta, Matt Blender, um, Madison McKnight, Matthew T, Mexi, OG Mizzen, um, Lost Lemurian, Karen, um, uh, foot soldier, vegan sister, revolution, all of you guys, I, you guys mean so much to me and you guys, um, I make these videos for you specifically. I mean, obviously there are all of you, all of you who watch the videos who don't comment and I'm so grateful for every time you click and watch one of the videos, every time you click and like one of the videos, I'm very grateful for those. I'm grateful for the times that you guys show up and tell me what I should watch or what I should read. Those things are super, super, super meaningful. Um, but I really do want to give special love to those folks who really keep the conversations going long after I have posted and basically forgotten and moved on to the next video. Um, you, this would not be nearly as fun an experience without you. <laughs> so that's really what I wanted to say today. Um, I hope you all are, you know, staying in touch with what's going on in the world and um, staying active and doing what you can to make a meaningful contribution. Um, that's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself the way